Welcome back everyone. We last left off getting Volk's memories back and now we're going to continue on with the story. Looks like we are going to Mayor Gale's house. Let's see what he's got to say. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, Sid. Without the timeless power, this airship isn't going anywhere. There has to be a way to solve this. Looking for something? Irma? You know, I really love stealing things, but getting my own stuff stolen, not so much. This town stole my memories, so I think it's time to take my leave. For real? Well, we appreciate the help. But there's just one condition. What's that? You defeat that destroyer, or else. Got it? <laughs> As if there was any doubt. Come on, buddy. Let's get this adventure started. Here, get you! I swear her and Rogue would just be great friends. Okay, anything else in here? Oh, missed the door. There we go. Okay, so where are we heading to? Okay, this doesn't look right. I think we're just going back to the uh, hangar, most likely anyway. Build the airship, take to the sky. the timeless power now it's working just like I thought chocobo let's go knock the destroyer into next Tuesday ready to go Say something wrong? What? No! Ah! Well, that just happened. Kicks it off the platform and we steal the airship. I think it's amazing that he knows how to fly that. I can't believe he's trying to save Raphael of all of his own. That's right, I ain't gonna be alone. I got Phoenix with me. It's a very interesting airship design though. I have no idea what that slow approach is about. That's not how that works. Mm 
All right, so we're here at the Dark Temple. So a couple of things. We decide to take our talons to plus 95 as well as our saddle. Um, it actually took one attempt to do it, and I was not expecting that, so we didn't have to really use any money on that. Um, something else, don't remember. All right, well, must not be important. I wonder how many floors this is going to be. It's probably like 50 something. Guardian of the Dark, 50 floors exactly. All right, so we maxed out our thief here. We will take, uh, who do we want to take? People have been saying good things about Beastmaster. Let's try it. Your ability is what? Alright, up to three spaces ahead. That's our checkpoint, and let's go. So we are level 93, I believe. 93. And we have a level coming up soon, so we are pretty big. See, damage is nice. Um, pit trap. Okay, we'll take it. 50 floors to run through. There's really nothing we have to have from here. But we've got the second best equipment in the game, I think. Do we have the second? Yeah, I think it's the second best equipment in the game. Okay, so who's our boss? Mini Cactar. Uh, please don't run. I could use the job points. Every single time they oh my goodness I hate it so much like I think I've only beaten two cactars like the ones in the insatiable hunger dungeon I might have only beaten two but they keep running I cannot get them to stick around okay oh where'd you come from take the potion why not Malboro down still no job points actually I think we might have picked up like one okay there's some ah oh, this ribbon collar puts in work I always thought it was just immunity from just like regular status conditions, not everything that could debuff you. I mean, it's appreciated because it just means I don't have to put stuff like that on saddles, which means I can worry about other stuff. But I don't even know if there are even that many debuffs or buffs I would want on a saddle. Like outside of elemental stuff, I don't really care about that. All right, well, there's level 94. I'm actually going to take that. Because it looks like hunger is going to definitely be a thing in this dungeon.
Got the dual trap, we'll take it. So I'm still on the hunt for the other job classes. Okay, maybe we can get it this time. There's two. Three. Four. Where's he at? Four. Five, six. I think we just dealt 9 damage to him. 10, 11. 12, he's got a lot of health. Oh, I'm not sure why he's got so much health. Should probably look at if there's some way I could debuff them. I think I tried silence on them last time and it didn't do anything. Okay, got them. 800 job points, nice. That should be like two levels. All right, let's see what we got. Reward, resource amount, model, HP to the party, safeguard, cast protect on a party and reduce physical damage. Oh. Okay. That's probably the first ability like that. Safeguard. Cast protect. And cast shell. I think shell is the uh most important one for right now all right i can see why people like this class it's the first one that directly interacts with your teammates which is great though i'm curious to know what a small amount of hp is let's see oh no nope, wrong one okay well i wasted sp on that is it two it's two 144 it adds up Let's take that. And the job points aren't great, but again, they add up. We need 100 and something. So we should be able to get like, what, two more job levels out of this. Assuming we don't get very direct routes to the next floor. Okay, we've got a boss. Oh, uh, all the grind, grinding has been paying off. I'm super happy about that. So Ifrit isn't going to be a problem for us at all. Probably have to kick him twice. attacks from all of us collectively all right there's a level I mean if they keep giving us these bosses this would be good flail attacks all foes within a one tower radius mm, I still think lash is better for right now because we can't at least hit three enemies it's not like being able to attack everything around us is good right now Especially with the uh, Trident Claws buff. At least this way we can still maintain a distance from somebody and hit them. Platinum Talons, I don't know much about those. I'm still sure they're not worth our time. Okay, that's annoying. A 
Okay, I just out of habit do that now. You lose half your health, you just heal. Especially after being in that horribly overpowered dungeon. Being at half your health is still bad. And we've got 50 floors to get through. Okay, job points, we will take those. I wonder if Beastmaster has an ability to see the map that would be useful. Otherwise, it's going to extend our time here a little bit. Yeah, enemies here, they've got a lot of health. I'll keep a lookout for some more videos to see how the community is faring right now. So I'm pretty sure there are people who have already beaten the game. But I do know a lot of other players are struggling. Well, I love apple juice so much. that curse okay that's fine there's no need to take these off anyway and dark bombs I should probably start killing them so I can get buddy points from them what do we got here I can't just a shot I really do not like that the only way to increase your equipment's powers in a dungeon is to first get a trap that lets you go to a shop and then hope it's one that takes you to the actual place to get your buffs and stuff. I would just like it better if they would put random pots back in that would let you just cook your equipment like you used to be able to. Alright, is this another shop? It's an actual shot. Warp wings. Okay, what does he have? Platinum talons, so twenty eight. Platinum saddle, teleport wings, dark book. And this here is probably just a high potion and a, as a matter of fact, we'll just go ahead and buy these because it's probably not too bad to know what this is. I already know what this is. It's the same in every shop, but I want to know what kind of potions these are. Okay, high ether, which means the other one's a high potion. I also have to remember I can heal about 144 damage. Nope, wrong one. Being able to cast Mana War on the entire party, I might actually take um, this class with me in the Insatiable Hunger Dungeon. I had no idea it was this good. Because it means now I don't have to waste a turn kicking an item at Phoenix. Okay, everything's the same. 
I'm actually just gonna buy some more food. That's never a bad thing to have around. Oh, we gotta beat Raffaello. And I think how the Insatiable Hunger Dungeon works, and I'm not sure because I haven't been that far, is I think the towel set changes like every 50 floors. Like, it's said that you fight Phoenix on floor 50, which means after you beat Phoenix, go to the next one. It might take you to a water towel set. That's what I'm thinking it's, it's going to be. Seven hundred and fifty. I love that damage. That's so good. So what exactly is it? I thought it was Mana Ward. Oh, Shell. Okay. I was going to say Mana Ward would be broken. I mean, that's still really good. I still don't think it's going to do anything against Bahamut, but... It's still pretty good. Nope. It's the wrong one. I'm going to get used to the commands here. Every time I pick a new class, it's always just super difficult learning where I'm putting stuff at. Because you have some classes that are just like support. Like I always try to shortcut my attack to the A button. Since that's just a more natural movement for my hands to make. But when you've been using like support based classes or classes that don't really do damage. You just kind of forget about all that. Hold on, what happened? Alarm trap, did I step? Oh, no, I did step on one. Well, that giant cactar did. Platinum Saddles. Life Saddle. That's a new one. I don't know what it does. Do we have... We don't. We're going to hold on to the Life Saddle. Because if that's like passive regen, that's going to be great. I miss how many job points they drop. Now I want to know if there are a pair of talons that increases job points. That would be useful as well. Don't want to approach you. Okay. Nope, hunger trap. got to do a large amount of damage to him again. Just one damage at a time. One. Two. Alright, Phoenix. You can move up anytime you want. Do I 
have a way to cast haste. Can you put him to sleep? He is not three spaces away from me. He is now. Let's see if we can put him to sleep. Okay, you cannot put him to sleep. Because the way it is now, if he's going to run, he's going to run, and there's nothing I can do about it. You got him, Phoenix? I'm going to be mad if that was the last hit we needed. Okay. That got us stuns all foes within three spaces. I mean, I would have to find application for it. Because right now, we're really overpowered. We're not, like, scared of being in a situation where we're surrounded by a bunch of enemies. We've been in that situation, and we've curve stomped it every single time. So I, I don't know about that one. Because when do you get Beastmaster? I don't remember when you get it. But at level 5, you should already have halfway decent equipment. And you shouldn't... You shouldn't really mind. Like, I think once you start getting really strong in this game, you want to put yourself in a situation you don't want your buddy to be in. So you'll put yourself in a line of fire just so they don't have to take the damage. But I suppose it's a good class to take into challenge dungeons. Because you really have a lot of tools. You, you can heal, you can cast um, stuff on you. So I don't know, I'll probably take this class into a dungeon that lets me bring a buddy in. I am just, just want to know what the other three abilities are. But we're going to have to grind out all of that. More food, we'll take it. Actually, we'll keep going this way. Okay, I'm glad we did. And he can't lock us in place, so that's good. Another dual trap. That's fine. We'll take all the SP we can get. Because we're getting... We're fighting more Cactars here. Which overall gives us more SP. Because if we can manage to kill one here, we get 800. Though if we kill one in one of the bigger dungeons, you get 2,000 job points. I want that more. But 299 her enemy here and it just might be better to grind this dungeon here for job points because in the insatiable hunger you get 2,000 for fighting Cactar but you don't fight Cactar all the time and he also has that risk to run which means if he does you don't get the job points so it's really hard to just pass up getting 2,000 job points if you can get it then go for it. I don't know what this is. I'm going to hold on to it. Don't need 180 of them. I'm probably going to drink those. But going back to my thought. If you don't factor in the 800 points you get here from Cactar. Or the 2,000 you get from the Insatiable Hunger. Then the other enemies that you fight here that you can get will still give you between what three and four hundred job points it looks like like on average 300 as opposed to 
having to spend a lot of time fighting enemies in the insatiable hunger and then getting to them because Ifrit can wipe you if you're not careful Shiva can wipe you if you're not careful Bahamut will wipe you even if you're careful but when you beat them they only give you like 398 job points or 402 job points so if you're spending more time fighting bosses and not getting a lot of reward for it then you might as well go to the place where you get a little less job points but they add up over time because you get through the fights faster and there seems to be a lot more of these uh dual traps around here than there is in insatiable hunger which is fine and you're not spending a lot of time having to fight enemies which still drop you know a handful of job points and it looks like we're getting bosses consistently every 10 floors and they've been dropping about 200 job points so that's great this just might be better to grind for job points unless there's a better boss out there okay what's he going oh he got protection from physicals that's annoying so that means we're gonna have to stand here and beat on him until he goes away and i don't have anything to remove that oh well it is what it is we'll just keep doing this i guess And he's annoying to fight too because there's a 50 50 chance that he gets the barrier or the uh, mana ward. Okay, now we can start putting some damage on him. Let's get it. One more hit should do it. Yep. 2000 experience. Yeah, I think we're better off doing this. It looks like we're getting the exact same amount of experience here, too. Except they're going down a lot quicker. Okay. Ooh, this tile set's really pretty. A stealth saddle. Ooh, I like that one. That one probably makes it to where we don't wake sleeping enemies. Which would be nice. Because that directly takes a need to use one of Ninja's abilities or the Thief's abilities. We might just have two different Talons at 99 as well as Saddles. I actually wonder how long it's gonna take to beat Raffaello. Because they definitely buffed all the story bosses. So I'm curious if he's got some new mechanics that'd be annoying. Okay. Four health. At least. He has at least three. At most four. Rockfall trap for 123 damage. I wonder if the Rockfall trap does a percentage of your health. Okay, so he has four. Okay, we can hit him. We'll do it again. The SP doesn't recover that slowly, so we should be fine. Okay, what's this? It's just a book. Doesn't hurt to look. We're getting a lot of job points so in the insatiable hunger it probably doesn't start paying out a lot more until we get to like floor 100 or something what is that okay thunder dragon 
I don't know for some reason, but I thought that was a Zapdos. Just saying. All right, we'll take him down then. He's got a lot of health. And he's down. 1500 experience. Yeah, I might just start grinding this now for job points. I wonder if there's a dungeon that gets more though. Okay, here we go. Den of Monsters, let's go. Looks like these are the new annoying enemies in the game. Okay, new ability, true grit, treat wounds. Cast bravery on the entire party. Let's attack. Okay. So we obviously replace that with that. True grit. We're not hurting for attack damage right now, so we're not going to worry about it. And I guess we take as much of this stuff as we can. At least look for saddles. mess with flare and meteor traps while I was grinding I stepped on a meteor trap that had like 388 points and it did 402 to me so yeah I don't I don't want to mess around with those big damage traps anymore take the damage heal it off immediately warp wings not good just lost all our food let's see what we got okay it's plus 20 all right so we can get 60 hunger back it's better than nothing and the the uh, ribbon collar is of course protecting us from all the debuffs this food is giving us the game is not very friendly on the food front
So it looks like we do have enough healing. I think we have a Phoenix down. Take out the Cactars. Awesome. What are they giving? 70 job points. I want some job points. Nope, just money. That's fine. A rune saddle. Ten more floors. Speak of the devil. Okay. Now, I still have to assume that Bahamut can royally mess us up. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to approach. We're not going to cast any buffs because he's going to remove them with that attack. I will kick the explosive drink at him. Oh. He's immune to it. That's new. So what do we got? Sleep silence. Um, okay, a bunch of stuff we can't do to him, it looks like. Well, we'll just walk up and kick him. We have Phoenix to give us more if we need more, so. Actually, let's cast True Grit. Let's see what this does for us. Gives us bravery, but I want to see what the damage is. Mega Flare. Okay, double damage somehow. I wonder if this is going to be Maelstrom. It's Mega Flare. So, since he's probably going to attack me now, let's do this, just so Phoenix can be a little bit safer. This is going to be Giga Flare, so I'm going to cast Rays on myself, restore my HP. Okay, we didn't need to do any of that. You know, just always be prepared for it. So yeah, it looks like Bahamas giving us the exact same amount of um, job points here as well, but he's not as hard to beat. So this is probably much better. Wait, doesn't the Dark Dungeon introduce the... Uh double floors on here where one is a trap I don't think they would have taken that out Cause that's super trolly you have to leave the trolls in got that Phoenix there you go okay let's take the buddy points completely went the wrong way. Malboro King. Too bad your breath bad breath does nothing to me. Somehow getting more experience here. Titanium 
saddle and another level level 95 five more levels and we will be max unless they allow you to get more than 100 levels I'm sure I'll get the levels while I'm grinding this class level 8 because in the insatiable hunger it seems to take me between 5 and 6 hours to get a class to max level I wonder if I could do it faster here but it still might take you know between 4 and 5 hours just to max the level out but you gain like five or six levels by the time you get the class maxed out at least at the later levels anyway okay where are you at stairs there you are Hopefully they spawn me in on the stairs though. Well, they technically spawned me in on the stairs. Let's attack here. Okay, he's gone. Dark Dragon. Oh, he's got Flare. Okay, so it's not too much damage. was that dark elements will use his haste. Okay, it's nice to know they could do that. Taking a beating, that's for sure. Okay, let's get in there a little bit closer. So as it lets me move. Okay. So it's not really the damage that they're doing that's annoying it's the fact that they get so many turns Balrog woke up Jesus everything has barrier it's, I wish they all had protect Like for anybody who's not at my level in this dungeon with the equipment that I have would have to run from these enemies every single time because I can't hurt them of course unless they're using black mage I mean I think a lot of them are being able to use magic has been very beneficial in this entire run want to carry the uh, potion though where just in case Raffaello does something annoying like reduce your HP to 1 and take all your SP Alright, 
either this floor is the last one or the next one. I do wish you could put equipment on your partners though, so they can deal with enemies a little bit better too. to be here somewhere okay so this here isn't the last floor but we are going to take this shop trap that's fine sell a couple of things we don't need maybe buy something nope it's just that our SP. Seven should be the max we can get. That's going to restore everything we've got. And here we go. I was about to say, well, we get to eat the chocobo, maybe? Hmm. All right, so it looks like I'm in my own head right now. Is that chocobo? You're still fighting, ain't ya? You got this, chocobo. We believe in you, chocobo! We're sending all our memories to you! The power of the fire crystal to stoke the flames of your courage! The power of the water crystal to wash away all obstacles!
Alright, ready for round two. Let's do this. Oh, is that all you got? Just in case. He's got a lot of health. Let's do... Let's do that. Let's make sure we can heal our HP. And cast ourselves if we need to. Alright, so that looks like it's it for first phase, maybe? Does this fight have phases? Okay, here we go. Oh my god, he turned into Lars. Okay, well this looks much more terrifying. Okay. It's gathering power. 
I mean, I'm not worried about him killing us in one hit, so. So we'll just beat on him for a little bit. And he has knockback. Love the damage, by the way. Let's gather his power. That's right. Let's keep beating on him. Definitely not good. Oh, geez, how much health does this boss have? Okay, that might be it. Phase two down. Is there a phase three? Like it's it. Alrighty then, right to the credits.
are, so I guess that's the end of the game there. Doesn't look like we can skip the credits, but that should be fine. Some things to note. The difficulty spike in this game is incredible. You go from what your first memory that you do and naturally people aren't going to grind out a video game right people are going to just follow the story where it goes and it's your job as a developer to make sure that the increase in difficulty is justified like I understand that you know your bosses have to be the things that make people want to learn how to play your game and use everything that they learned up till then to help beat the boss but when I fought Phoenix the first time I didn't really feel any of that and I already knew Phoenix was going to be a problem because Phoenix was a problem in the Wii version but I assumed it would just it was just Phoenix like you know they don't give you a lot of good equipment early and you've got this boss that can heal themselves spawn in other enemies r run away from you while living traps that deal damage to you okay that's fine, but then Leviathan came in, and Leviathan had a bunch of HP. I was like level 38 at that point, I believe, which is probably like 15 to 17 levels higher than anybody else at that point. And he could lock you. Like, it didn't help any that I brought Phoenix in, which is weak to water, or didn't have my Black Mage ready, which could have dealt the damage that I needed to him. But it just felt like if you didn't play against Leviathan the exact way they wanted you to, then you probably wasn't going to win. I didn't have too many problems with Alexander um, because I was grossly overleveled at that point, so I was able to just walk through him and sequentially, you know, Raphaello as well wasn't even a problem. But I'm looking at, you know, how much health these bosses have and the damage that they're taking. And I'm trying to figure out how is anybody else who didn't grind this game like I did going to fare against these bosses when essentially all they have is just a little bit of equipment that they picked up and they're going places that the game is telling them to. I know the whole point of the checkpoint system is to kind of alleviate the stress of having to play, you know, a 30 or 40 or 50 floor dungeon over and over again. But it feels like they use that as a cop-out to prevent themselves from properly balancing the dungeons and I think they only did it that way because this game is largely the one on the Wii and it's like well we got a year to add more to this game but it didn't really feel like they did much and I'll cover all of that in the review that I'm going to make for this game because I finished it so now it's time to make the review So who's flying the airship? In before it's Raffaello. Or Volg or Irma. Chocobo, you saved everybody. 
nobody. Uh, who are you guys? No, okay. for the memories of the past and the new future ahead. It's the bell of evocation now. Sure. And we now have the town of found time we can bring Raffaello as a buddy good because i want to see what his skills are so chapter six the town of found time it seems that Raffaello also fought his hardest against the destroyer until now this town has always lost time from now on we will carve it out ourselves thank you so very much you saved our town, your heroes. <laughs> Being called a hero to your face is kind of embarrassing. And thus, on this spot, in honor of and with heartfelt gratitude to our dear friend Chocobo, we hereby dedicate this commemorative statue. really sharp uh so where's mine ah uh, yeah sadly we ran low on materials but your name's on it see who where let me see in honor of the hero chocobo and his partner sid that's it just partner sheesh <laughs> all right Adventure's not over yet. Congratulations, thank to all of Chocobo's hard work. The town of Lost Times become the town of Found Time. We're passing future memories, meet as one. But the adventure isn't over yet. Six chapters. Oh, let me see. A new story and new dungeons to explore. To Blue Sky Park. Why not go and have a look? Um, yeah, let's have a look real quick. So, we finished the main game. We got five levels to reach 100. We will start doing the other stuff. It's about time we split, huh? Chocobo, I guess I should thank you. It was a tough time. But at least it never got boring, thanks to you. Anyway, you ready, Bull? Of course. One last thing. Given our history, I'll do you a favor and give you some advice. Treasure is something you can only get if you try with all your heart. You've got a lot of potential. So get out there and find your own treasure. No way. Right. Hello, Chocobo. What are you looking at? Alright, so let's go back in, see if they're still there. 
then we'll try to find this what, blue sky part. Okay, they're still there. Maybe we gotta advance the story a little bit. I suppose we'll see, since we're here, if there's a new bag or something waiting for us. But I think before we do that, we'll try to clean up a lot of the memories that we have sitting around. Howdy. This is Harry's hardware. All right, new bag. Awesome. You can sell things. Gemstone talons. Okay, so we got to go to church. All right, we'll do that later. Let's see what we've got here. This is just church. Oh, well, I suppose we'll do it. Let's do it all. The final episode of the main story before we get back to grinding. Okay. Chocobo, I've been thinking about going to the outside world. What I did was truly unforgivable. Yet, everyone's forgiven me. They say there's no use fretting over the past. So I feel like I have to repay their kindness. It's something that even I can do. It's something that only I can do. I've just got to find a way. Here, here, here. Thank you, Chocobo. Alright, I wanted to see what his ability was. Characters. Oh, we're still missing, what, two? Ray of Hope. Cast Protect and Shell on Chocobo. I mean, that's not something I absolutely have to have. Here. Okay, nothing here. Might be back here somewhere. I did see a really big empty spot on the map. Okay, that's just the fishing spot. Chocobo, I know a lot of terrible things happened. I'm going to keep trying. The warmth you've shown me, Chocobo. The way I felt when I found my sister Chroma again. I'll treasure this forever. Here, here, here! We made a promise. We'll always be together. Okay, so this is just care to follow up, see what Chip's got to say. an elixir for a hundred thousand gold I mean I've got the gill so it's no big deal a hundred thousand for an elixir though Find out where this place is. It could be beneficial. Hi there. Is Karoma in here? She's down here. Chocobo. Maybe we were wrong. <laughs> Taking away memories with the Bell of Oblivion. It was done to try and stop the destroyer. Our memories, we also threw away our future. I think I finally learned an important lesson. We can change the future if we truly live for today. Thanks. Now I can finally keep my promise. I can be with Sherma forever. Here, here, here! 
And here we go. We'll come back to that. So we've got Bahamut's memory, I believe. The one in there. I should probably talk to every single animal to make sure that none of them have memories. Okay. Okay, so where is this Blue Sky Park? Is it a menu option or something? I don't want to look it up. I want to just find it. It's not there. So stand in the way. Okay. I think the next place to check is hey, Mog's place. And then I can start doing things between episodes. Because next time, we will be restoring memories. Pain and gain. Um. No, we'll save it for next time. So that way we can all figure out what this is together. Talk to the dog, and then we'll talk to the statue. Jeez, a hundred thousand gil for an elixir? I'm pretty sure I have to do it. Yo, Chocobo. Okay. Oh, Our kid's Chocobo. good. Chocobo. Okay. This was a dungeon in the Wii. Yes, it is. So this here is a 100th floor dungeon. We will do that as well. And... I honestly don't know where this other place is. It's not there. Mayor Gales, maybe? Hello, Chocobo. Thing with these books. Oh, I like to read that one. Okay, so where is it? I honestly don't know. I feel like I've looked everywhere. Isn't there a map or something we can look at? No. No. Nothing in options. Well, first of all, let's save. I mean, we don't want to lose all that progress. Okay. Temple, fire temple, light temple. I don't see the darkness temple. Hmm.
Why is the bench an important place? All right, so I've got maybe two more ideas. Actually, let's check her house. Because the only thing I can think of is a temple that you can get to from the sky. Or um, a temple you can get to from the church. And if that is not the case, then maybe you can get to it from the the church? Or the main menu. Main menu. I think I want to say main menu. Because here is a bunch of dungeons. So we got, okay, we're still missing one, two. No, we're missing one. All right. And then we have over here, memories. A lot of memories. We've got 10 more to find, I believe. No, we've got eight more to find. But there's another 10 there. Okay. Well, I am out of ideas that don't revolve around just going back to the main menu. Maybe you swim. Maybe this does something else. Okay, well, that did nothing. The train does nothing. to the main menu. What do we got here? Huh. Okay, well, I have no idea how to continue any of the post-game stuff. I mean, there are two dungeons. There's the one in Mog's house. I don't really know if that's supposed to be it, but I don't know where else I'm supposed to be at. Like, there's a lot of important places on the map, but it doesn't really do anything for you. So what's what's new? What am I not seeing? Hmm. 
maybe you go back to one of the temples and you can enter through the uh the back door So we know the fire temple had a way to continue. So maybe, well, we're here right now. So let's just go in and see what happens. So this is exactly just this floor. So the water temple had one for sure. I remember seeing another door in the back. And the only way we can get back to the temple of darkness is through the church. And that's incredibly ironic. Nope, went the wrong way. I wonder if it only shows up if we do everything else. temple didn't have one so where did I go where I saw it okay I honestly don't know so here's what I'm going to do I'm just going to go ahead and end the recording here because I don't want to keep you all any longer than I have to so I do want to thank you all for sitting here and watching this playthrough it's been very interesting a lot of new things added to the story which is always nice to see so if you want to stay along for the ride be sure to subscribe to my channel because we are going to 100% this save file and I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch my videos and I hope to see you all in the next one peace